Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the final match of BSL Season 14, Hustle League, Round of 16, Group A. Mitek versus Rancor. Both players have taken a game apiece in this final set. Mitek starting the bottom right hand corner as the blue Zerg. Upper left hand corner, we have Rancor as the hot pink. Hot pink, or I, I, I'm never sure whether to call this pink or purple. But it, whatever it is, it's iconic Zerg. And this is going to be on Metaverse. Overlord making the way to the upper right hand corner, bottom left hand corner for Rancor. So Overlord's not at the cross spawn location. Potentially, it's interesting, if Rancor opts to go for nine pool into layer build again, it could be advantageous because of the cross spawn location. But if he opts to go for nine pool and build a lot of Zerglings, it could be disadvantageous. We'll see what Mitak also does. Mitak, wondering if he has a little bit more variety in the builds for us here. We've seen him go 12 pool. I like the in-base hatchery on this map, potentially. Although at cross map positions, I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. Looks like we are going to see an Overlord first build for Rancor. We'll see if he goes for over pool or if he's going to go for 12 pool. We do see Overlord first build as well from Mitak. I'm almost wondering if the four player map is playing a bit of a factor in decision making here as well, being that I'm almost curious if either one's going to go for a 12 hatch. So we do have spawning pool and spawning pool. So dead even build orders right now. Rancor grabbing that extractor as well, a little bit earlier than Mitak. So Mitak potentially wanting to get that second hatchery down a little bit faster. We'll see how he plays from here. There's a lot of kind of didn't appreciate how much variation there is in Zerg play. So yeah, want, he's going to skip gas, going to go for a faster natural expansion. Potentially wanting to play a little bit more economically aggressive, get that economic lead. Force Rancor to come to him. We'll see how Rancor plays it. Because Rancor is going to have the gas advantage. Now the question is, is does he opt for Zergling speed first, or is he going to go straight to lair? So pool finishes. We're going to hit that 100 gas point, and it looks like we're going to see Lair before Zergling Speed. Two Zerglings, or two groups of Zerglings being built for a total of four. Looks like six Zerglings being built from Mitak. Neither player has gotten any information. I like what Rancor did here. Went ahead and adjusted the Overlord flight when he didn't come across an Overlord in the midfield position. Neither player has information. A single Zergling being sent out to scout for Mitak. Several Zerglings being sent out to scout for Rancor. He's going to grab his natural expansion behind this. One thing I don't like about this build for Mitek, oh, he's actually only keeping just one drone on gas. So he's definitely opting. I'm wondering if he forgot about this one. Okay, now he's cycling back in. So he's going to get Zergling speed, but wanted to get a few more minerals out of this. One thing I don't like about taking the early hatchery is you don't really see the gains out of this. Gains, bro. Until you're really grabbing that second gas quickly. Rancor able to confirm that it was a fast hatchery. This Zergling able to walk up and confirm Lair. But is going to get wiped out. And Midtech immediately responding by running across the map. So now Rancor is going to have a lot of territory he needs to defend. Spire already morphing. The Lair just starting for Midtech. So Midtech needs to win it with his Zerglings. Zergling speed just going to finish. A little bit early for Rancor, so he should be able to finish this Zergling in his base, but he needs to immediately get to his natural expansion or blockade this ramp. The Zergling's already filtering up. Free damage. Now the Zergling's backing off for Mitak. Mitak trying to draw them to the north, maybe to go for a backstab opportunity. Rancor holding both locations. He's currently up two drones, but down a lot of supply, which means there's going to be a six Zergling, a, a considerable Zergling advantage. Spire halfway finished, so Rancor's got to buy himself a lot of time. Zerglings running across, some of them getting boxed out. However, Rancor falling back because he's just overwhelmed. And Midtack now, diving up, is going to be able to breach the ramp. Certainly can win and take that hatchery if he wants it. And now Rancor, his main, getting ransacked. And there's GG. Just didn't have the defenses there. Nice play by Midtack, realizing the situation and immediately jumping on it. So Midtack going to advance to the round of eight. Rancor 
I assume we'll see him in BSL Season 15, which is sad. Love watching his games. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That is it for Group A. We're going to move on to Group B. Thanks for listening.